Hey everybody, David Lemon here. In this video, I'm going to tell you about the latest release to Groove Pages, which includes a feature and an improvement to something that we already had. So let me just tell you about the feature first. This is a very cool thing, which is called Quick Pop-Ups. So let me just uh, scroll down a little bit and then go to the this button over here. It's a button that says, let's have a chat. If you click on the button and you go to configure, now we added a link mode. A link mode is an option where how to link to something. In here we have the standard linking where you basically put in a URL or you link to a page or a block or a pop-up or something like that. But we also added quick pop-ups. Quick pop-ups are is a tool that lets you display a pre-made pop-up without you needing to create a completely new one from scratch. That's what it says here in the box, but I'm going to explain you and show you what it actually does. So think about uh, you creating a pop-up, how that works. You go into the pop-up section, then you click on uh, create a new pop-up, then you uh, select a, a pop-up design, then you drag out the block, then you customize it, or maybe just you want to show a video, so you click on a video, drag it out, then you click on the video, go and set it up, you select YouTube or Groove Video or something like that, you save it. Cool, now you have a pop-up. Now you need to go back and link it. Now you click on the button, then you find your pop-up, then you link to it, and then you save and publish. That's actually 10 steps. But what we did with the quick pop-ups is, is kind of speed this up much, much faster. So currently, quick pop-ups were released only yesterday, but we are going to be improving it with, uh, with many more functionalities. Currently, they offer linking to pages, blocks, URL, blogs, and carts. So we will be adding on Groove Mail forms. So think about it. You just go into, into on a button, you click on a button, select Quick Pop-ups, Groove Mail form. You select the Groove Mail form that you want to show in a pop-up and then click Save, Publish, you are done. You don't have to go create a completely new pop-up and, and drag out the elements and things like that. So it's a quick pop-up. Now we'll add in Groove video elements as well, so you can upload uh, your own videos or YouTube videos or something like that. We'll have Groove webinar elements later on, calendar, uh, calendar, uh, Groove calendar widgets as well, and surveys and quizzes and things like that. All available when you click on a button to set it up, which is which is awesome. For the moment, there is page block URL blog and cart. So let me just show you one of these examples by a linking to a URL. So I'm just going to click update and publish it out just so that you can see how it works when we link a quick pop-up to a URL. So if we visit this page and I click on the button, it actually opens the URL in a pop-up which is called an iframe. So this is a, a, a frame which opens the actual website. So this is a full website that loaded inside a pop-up. It's been created within just a couple of seconds using this new cool uh, quick pop-up feature and it's going to make uh, building sites much more flexible and also much faster than previously. So imagine this use case if you have like a, f like a very, very long pricing page where users need to scroll through or uh, you're using this for affiliate marketing or, or something like that. There, there's many, many use cases that you can think of where an iframe could come in very handy. All right, so if you want to exit, you just click off the actual iframe and then you're good to go. So this was just one of the use cases. You can go and uh, experiment, think about your use cases, but basically you can do all sorts of things with this one. So go ahead and test it out. That was the cool feature that we released. We have released another, uh, another improvement that uh, may look familiar to some. So if you go into, for example, the background colors of this button, we have brought back the old color picker. I'm going to explain why and what's still coming. So the previous color picker that we had had a very cool functionality that was the saved colors. So it had saved the lightest colors that you were using uh, like in a separate row. We are going to do that with this with this color picker as well. It just needs a little bit of time until we figure out all the technicalities with it, but that's coming. Now, with the previous color picker that we had, which was this exactly the same one, we had a little circle on here that when you clicked, then it showed up all of this uh, rich color picker where you can, you can pick uh, between a couple million different colors over here. Uh, not many users saw that circle and not 
and many forgot to click it and then they were going to support like where can I put in my hex code and things like that. So now we actually show it immediately on here. So the RGB hex code and HSL, whether you have uh, your color in an RGB code or a hex code or something like that. Now this is all available within just the, the actual the color picker. When you click on it, immediately it's there. So we're going to do certain changes on it, like for example, defaulting the hex code and putting it in the first place so that immediately when you come here, you can put in the hex code that's more used than an RGB, for example. But we are also going to be putting in the saved colors. As I mentioned, it's coming in the next phase, but uh, yeah, it's maybe coming over here or maybe below, but it's going to have those saved colors as what you guys loved in the previous color picker. So that's, uh, that's the reason uh, why we brought back but uh, that's one of the reasons why we brought it back because of the uh, of the rich color picker but here you have also some colors that are immediately offered to you and this was used a lot by myself by our designers by you guys and this is f here for a reason these are these are colors that are most common in the digital marketing uh, world or let's call these the the high converting colors in the in the marketing world so these are all proven colors that are being used all around the world in inside funnels and marketing um, funnels and everywhere so uh, these are available literally on a one click of a of a mouse so now we have all of these colors back as we had them previously this was built into our color picker previously because of the reason because these are pre-selected colors that that are proven to work but we are going to improve this uh this uh, color picker functionality even more in the next releases so that's the cool two cool things that we that we did with groove pages if you have any questions feel free to let us know if you have uh any other questions pop them in the comments below See you.